How's it going everyone? The FM2018 game is finally here. We have all been waiting for it and the beta came online just a few days ago. First thing I wanted to do was to explore the new features and the player roles on this new version. For this playthrough, I decided to give Huddersfield a go. They have been playing some exciting football this season, as you all know. Last season, they won the playoffs in a dramatic penalty shootout and they got promoted to the Premier League for the first time in about 45 years. And they have a terrier in their club badge. It's a terrier with a ball. I'm really excited to see how far I can take them on FM2018. As I will be exploring the new features in this playthrough, I'll be mostly talking about how the game feels while doing quick reviews of matches rather than whole games like I've done in my past board mode save. Let's start with our new FM2018 save. When I looked at the team first, it is not a good team. It is a mid championship level team. So I thought let's give it a shot and see how we do. So after a full season, I finished 17th. I escaped the drop, which is saying something, I'm telling you. It was it was not easy uh, we'll review this season quickly and then I will move on to the next one the reason I'm happy about it now is that my finances are better we have money we'll get some transfer you know budget and uh, hopefully we can uh, you know do something about it we can buy some good players we can do better this season. for this season uh, I can give you a quick review here we bought uh, Dominic as our goalkeeper which turned out pretty good actually he played crucial there he had a crucial card paying a lot of wages for him but he really really is he was the key this season the really good keeper uh, James McLean came on loan and he played pretty well five goals five assists solid performance he's uh, going to go away don't think I want to buy him permanently but he'll keep an eye and a uh, central defender because we really needed a backup there he he was a backup guy but he he did he did well when he was called upon uh not too bad and uh we got rid of a few players a couple of them are in loan we had some serious highs and lows this season we won eight we drew eight and we lost 22 games but it got us through by one point i'll give you a quick highlight of how the game went we lost games up front. We lost. Uh, we lost to Borden Albion on penalty. Uh, very heartbreaking. But we had our second string team playing there because we really needed to do better in the league. And then we kept losing. End of September, we got our first point, and we this is all, this is only our second goal of the season. Not looking good at this point at all. Uh, we drew another Leicester, and we lost seven nil to Manchester United because. We got a couple of people sent off, so you know, wasn't a good game. There's the lowest that I've probably ever seen, lowest rating that I've probably ever seen. Jorgensen there, uh, yeah. So we went a little crazy there. It's kind of hard to play this game when you're not winning at all. So okay, so we're still losing. Everton lost two nil, score one goal, but we still lost. Uh, Casey Palmer scored another goal. So now we have. James McLean score goal, we have Casey Palmer with two goals and that's all we got, it's November already. Uh, we lose 3-0 to Chelsea again and I'm getting really annoyed at this point, end of November we finally 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 get a win. Uh, this was a crazy game. They score goal, third minute, we score, penalty 28th minute, Schindler our center back there doing his job. Mooney there getting the ball back and Mooney made a break from there. Everyone's pushing forward. Palmer with the beautiful ball and Mooney finishes it. What a goal. What a goal. 2-1 lead for the first time this season. And then crazy net start. We got Jorgensen sent off after second, second uh, yellow. Then they have their player sent off. In the 41st minute. Second yellow for him too. So now we are playing 10v10. Then 59th minute. This crazy thing happens. And oh, another player sent off. So now we have advantage. We are playing 10v9. Right, 78th minute. They get one more player sent off. Now they're playing with eight men against our 10. But the game wasn't done yet. We got one more player sent off right at the end there. 
So, yeah, but we managed to hold on to the lead and we get our first win of the season. End of November, first win of the season. Right next game, we lose 6 1 to Southampton. We got, we get one player sent off and we just play terrible all around. Next game, starting of December, we went 3 2. This game is pretty crazy as well. We start pretty pretty well in front um, and they get one of their players sent off. This is where our season kind of starts, so to say. A win, then we drew against Spurs, even though we had a player sent off. We drew against Newcastle, 1-1 score. We drew against Brighton, even though we have another player sent off. So we have we had a lot of players sent off this, uh, this season. I'll show you stats in a second. Uh, City we lose again, Liverpool we lose, West Ham we score two goals but we still lose. Watford we lose after the close game. Uh, Northampton we win 5-3 in the FA Cup. Uh, Arsenal we use, Crystal Palace we, we win again 2-0. This was a huge game. Schindler scored, another penalty there. And then Mooney scored the second goal. Got behind the defense and finished beautifully. It gave us that win. We drew to Millwall uh, in the FA Cup. We drew to West Brom 2-2 with another player being sent off. We drew to Stoke 1-1. Uh, and then we lost to Millwall 3-0 away from home. It wasn't our proudest time. Uh, it was actually really weird how this happened. And then the craziness comes on. V nil five nil against Everton. I mean, I don't even know how this happened. It was it was bizarre. Everton just collapsed, completely collapsed. Uh, McLean with two goals. Schindler adding another one to his penalties. Mooney scored a goal. So in the first half we were five nil up, and then we never looked back. It was it was easy right from there. We win against Bournemouth. This was a game where uh, we got one injury. It was a Tight game. Right at the end, when all hopes seemed lost, Mooney plays a beautiful ball to corner and he finishes in extra time. It was it was magical. Next we got a win against Swansea for an own goal. Our defense was really strong. Uh, Schindler missed a penalty, uh, but we made it through. We drew against Southampton, lose against Spurs, not a surprise really. We won against Newcastle, which again gave us that that boost with Steve Mooney and Mooney scoring goal each. This was a this was a crucial game where uh, we needed to win this. It was second last game of the season, and uh, we are 19th. And I really thought we lost it. Like I thought we were done. Um, when we lo lost this game, we are 20th uh, in the league, lost, and I did not have any hope to be honest. Next game, Man City. I mean, I don't even know what to say about this game. They're pinging the ball around and, uh, you know, doing the Manchester City thing that they do. And Aguro just scores just like that. And they score another goal in the 51st, 52nd minute. And it wasn't pretty. It wasn't looking pretty for us at all. We are 2 0 down. We have 2 0 down, 52 minutes gone. So that's where we come in now. Lower breaks through it and McLean finishes it at the end so we are 2-1 we have some hope 90th minute and we score a goal we are 2-2 we would still have lost and then McLean scores that goal he's he's going to be a legend McLean there with two goals and uh, just just a miracle it was a miracle we scored two goals in stoppage time and uh, just like that we escaped the drop and, uh, and uh, Swansea got the, you know, sticky end of it. Danny Williams had seven red cards. Seven. We had 16 red cards in total. We were playing pretty hard. We were going pretty hard at it. 92 yellow cards and 16 red cards. It's pretty bad, I would say. Um, but yeah, you know, we achieved our goal though. That's That's something. Steve Money with 8 goals, Casey Palmer highest average rating, McLean with 6 assists and 5 goals, he was huge. Uh, De Poitre when brought on, played good, Aaron Moy was, was another one who played really good. Everyone's happy, 
comments is asking to leave we have social groups here who are doing okay so that's the end of our playthrough for season one and i might actually do just one season per episode on on the series uh just let's try that out and see how it goes uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time